Greetings fandom, my name is Andre, and I'm back with a brand new discussion that I've come up for you guys to uh, feel free to leave your thoughts. And so, uh, if you guys thought I already ran out of video ideas just because I haven't been uploading in a while, you are wrong. Actually thought of some new ideas and I wrote them on this piece of paper right here. I will do all of them that I wrote down, so... Um, but this time, uh, th this will be uh, quite different from the ones that I've just thought of. Now, here's my discussion that I would like to open up with you guys. Was there ever a certain movie director, uh, an artist, a singer, or a certain film series or film franchise? Or a TV show that you like to watch on a regular basis? Yeah, I know we all have our own interests on quite a lot of things. And they're usually um, accessible, especially now that um, they can usually uh, be seen and obtained in a way that... A lot of people would usually tolerate, but I personally would definitely not. And so I would like to ask you, what's your usual way of getting access through those, um, through those films, those TV series, those songs, and all that other stuff? Alright? Uh, I want to know how. Because if you're doing it the old-fashioned way, like going to some sort of site where uh, where they would easily just provide it for free, um, give it to anyone who would see those kinds of uh, those kinds of free sites where you can just download them if you want to cut your losses. I mean, yeah, it's understandable. Everyone wants to save up money. Everyone wants to. Uh, cut their losses and spend less uh, especially if you're trying to like uh, save up on something that you would really plan on for the future which is understandable but I have to say something here if you're really a fan of a certain product or a certain someone who creates that content and if you're not willing to cut losses to gain access to those uh, to those products that they're making, as much as you say you're a fan, trust me, you're not. And I gotta tell you that what you're doing, like what you're usually doing to get those um to get those stuff those movies those those tv shows and those songs for free you're not actually helping who you idolize you're actually hurting who you idolize you are not actually supporting them like no matter how much you say that you are a fan if you don't support them in a way that they will get money from from, from the from the general public you are not supporting them you are pulling them down you're discouraging them all in a sense that people would usually not see that side would not acknowledge the truth or just usually do not see the truth that that they are not actually supporting who they idolize like um it's it, it's become uh these sorts of contents have have become a commodity ever since piracy has become a thing all right and as much as the many of these people 
would support this just because they could get all of their favorite movies for free? I don't. Like, sure. Uh, quite a few times, uh, I have checked on these free movie sites. But just, just please redeem yourself by, by like, buying the actual thing. Like, the actual free, the, the actual movies. Like, um... May be either Blu-ray, DVD, or digital download. It doesn't matter. As long as you are spending money to get those uh, to to get like the original thing. Like, do not go for do not go for the pirates that are that are doing uh, that that are just uh that are just making a lot of recopies of those products and uh making it a commodity for those people. Because trust me, if you're doing that, uh, if you're doing that process in a way that you do not spend anything, you are not supporting who you idolize. You're supporting those goddamn pirates. You're supporting the pirates that are that are reproducing these sorts of these sorts of stuff that people would would want to have so bad, but they can't usually access that because they don't they don't have the money for. For Blu-ray, they don't have the money for for DVD discs. They don't have the money for Netflix or Prime Video and all that other stuff. But I gotta let you know. Um, as long as you're not redeeming yourself, you are still continually hurting the movie industry. You're not helping the movie industry. You're just giving it more damage, more damage than it already has. And I thought somebody has to make rants about this, and so I will. And if you're watching this video, and if you're one of those people who are just accessing the free sites to 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 make the these that, that make these sorts of products a commodity, I'm not gonna uh pull you down or anything. Like it's fine. But please, redeem yourself. Like, redeem yourself by, by actually uh, spending your money on those products. Like, go to an actual uh, digital download store. Go to Google Play or and uh, download some of your some of the favorite movies that you have. Yeah, like, like do do not show continuous support for these pirates. Because these pirates are the ones that are hurting the industry. And I hope some of you viewers start to realize that. 